what's going on guys today we're going to do a shoe review of the adidas yeezy boost 350 v2 static black non-reflective these are a ua pair and shout out to my girl kate over at kixi for getting these to me in a timely fashion as you can see they do come double box for protection the box on the inside um, was very protected there weren't any cuts or dents in the box or any weird customs type things that go on when they come over from overseas again these are ua or what they call unauthorized they're generally made in the same factories as all the other yeezys they're just not 100 percent inspected by like the adidas inspectors or the factories or the process um, but i'm telling you right now these uas or whatever you want to call them they're getting really close um, the inspected ones they're they're scary how good they're getting these days um, as you can see again this is the non-reflective there is a reflective pair um, and i kind of like these ones are a little bit more subtle reflective ones are, are a little bit too flashy for me right now and i wanted something that was kind of like you know doesn't stand out that much even though the laces do pop these retail for about a $220 from Adidas or a Yeezy Supply. You can get them from Kixi for about $150, $155, and there's always going to be a discount code available. So again, taking a look at these, um, I'm wearing them right now as I make this review, and they are extremely comfortable. I do own a couple other pairs of Yeezys that have came from Yeezy Supply and I'm gonna be comparing them, this version, to a pair of brand new cream whites here in a second. So taking a look at the boost here, this is pretty much exactly what it would look like from an authorized pair. For me, the heel tab is pretty much the biggest giveaway compared to an authorized pair, and I'll touch more on that a little later. All right, let's go ahead and pull out the um, authorize Yeezys and compare them to the black ones. The creams have been out for a while. I've actually never wore that shoe. I've tried on the other one, the right foot. So I figured this would be a good comparison. Um, I noticed the tags are different. I'm not sure if that's something that the newer Yeezys are doing these days with the tags. Um, Cause again, the creams, they've been out for a while and that's one of the original tags. Just looking at the form of the shoe, they are really, really close. Again, the stuff that I'm pointing out, no one's ever gonna give your shoe a 30 point inspection right off of your foot. I mean, unless you know those kind of people, but I mean, you're not gonna be able to spot these, just somebody walking by. Here's the size tab UPC code inside of that shoe. On the other one, on the right shoe, it's on the left side. And on the creams, on the left shoe, it was also it was on the left side as well. Here's a comparison of the boost. To me, that looks identical. And when you actually walk on them, the bottom details are gonna diminish anyway. Another thing that I noticed, again, this is very minimal. The original seemed to be lower to the ground than the black pair. Um, I also have another pair of cream whites that I wear a lot so those might just be really worn. So looking at these tabs here, you can see on the right shoe, it's not as tight as the left one. Look at that there. Look how that little box in the middle is very tight as far as the stitching. And on that one, it's not so tight. And if you rub your finger across it, you can kind of feel it that it's, it's see that's boxed in and tight. And that one, not so much. You can't really feel the indention. So that's, that's just kind of one thing I've noticed. Not a huge deal again. It doesn't matter, but it, you can definitely tell. Another thing is the laces seem to be a lot longer on the UA non-reflectives than the cream whites for some reason. I'm not really a fan of that, but you know, it is what it is. Just noticed it. To me, these look great. I can't complain. Here's a look at kind of the pattern of the weaving. Um, if you can see there, that's pretty tight no loose ends or anything weird it's hard to see the creams but I mean I've seen 
Jordan brand sneakers right out of the factory, you know, with other imperfections, not to get off on that rant, but what I'm saying is there's not very many um, noticeable imperfections, especially with the shoe being really dark. Let's go ahead and get the tag off so we can get some on feet shots. Really quick before we do that, I wanted to point out these are the tags. Nothing special. Um, again, I'm not sure how 100% these tags are. And here is actually the paper. I know that's kind of weird, but the paper and the creams were smaller and more papery. And the paper and the statics um, seem to be more plasticky and more of it. So. So I went for a walk in these, and I'm telling you, if you ever wore any of the V2 before, these are super comfortable. Um, I did notice walking in them, I feel a little higher off the ground, but again, that could be due to these are new, and the pair that I've been wearing for over a year are pretty worn in, but they just seemed a little higher off the ground than normal. These shoes are really not a deep black black, like a core black, they're more of a charcoal color. Um, when you see them online, the color might throw you off a little bit, but they're, they're darker in person, but they're not like a deep, deep black. So next, let's go ahead and take a look at how they look in a reflective setting. So here's the laces in all their reflective glory. You just have to have a little bit of light on them in a darker setting. Um, I'm not sure where you would be for these to be getting noticed that way, but maybe, I don't know, in a club or something like that. Again, I personally prefer these over the fully reflective V2 pair. They just were a little bit too much for me. I mean, I'd still wear them, but you know, it's just personal preference. So I'm just gonna get into some higher res shots with the Sigma lens at some of the detail. Um, I did notice there's some glue from where the sole meets the actual um, knitted part, but I've seen on other YouTube videos that glue exists even on the so-called approved pairs or authorized pair of the Adidas Yeezy, so the glue wasn't really a big deal, or it's not really a big giveaway because the quote-unquote official ones have that same type of glue. These are a US size 10 for men's. Um, I got these pretty much in about, it was about four days. And they came directly to me DHL. Again, shout out to Kixie for providing a very, very high quality sneaker. Um, again, nobody's gonna know unless they take them off your feet and examine them for at least 10, 20 minutes. Uh, these are very high quality, very acceptable. Again, shout out to Kixie for delivering on this one. Um, I look forward to future reviews with them go ahead and use my coupon code below and you can get 10 percent off of these do not hesitate to visit kixie.com and i'm out guys peace